Let me turn these comments on. All right. Aloha, y'all. Welcome back to Pete's Treasures. This is a Sunday Facebook Live haul for you. It's our third one, and it's been about three weeks since we did one. So um, I'm just going to show some things that I bought for myself while I'm waiting. And um, if you would like, later on, check out our website, Pete'sTreasures.com. We have some new t-shirts. It's not hoarding if you at least try to sell it. Um, yeah. Let me show you some things I got before we start. So I have been into Tiki lately and there is a Tiki artist named Doug Horn and I got my first Tiki prints from him and it's signed. These were $20 each. Um, who doesn't love a cat who drinks scorpion bowls? Look at those mice, too. How cute. So, yeah. I really like it. It'll add to my little gallery that I've started. And this one is my favorite. 2019 called Spiked Mai Tai. Look at that kitty hooch. How cute. So, yeah. Those are just some things I bought for myself. And I've been wanting a classic mixer. And so, Hamilton Beach drink master. Can't wait to start using it. You can use it for shakes and <laughs> other things like tiki drinks. So yeah, let's get into the thrift haul. Now, if you're new, I post thrift videos of things that I buy at thrift stores, estate sales, antique stores. And on YouTube, I kind of share what I buy and then we list it on eBay. So this Facebook Live is just to show you what kind of things I do as a hobby and as our eBay business. If you are interested in any of these items, obviously, that's great. But I'm not here to sell to people um, as my main priority. I just want to show you what kind of things we get. But if you are interested, you can go to Pete'sTreasures.com or just Facebook message me and we'll cut you a deal. So let's see what we got. I went to... Wimberley, Texas, Austin, San Marcos as a trip, and some of these things are from there. Hi, Caitlin and Alfonso. Thank you for joining me. Um, so yeah, here is a melamine tray that I love. We go together like drunk and disorderly. How many of y'all have a best friend that can relate? Isn't that cute? Now, there is a person named Ann Tainter that does these trays. Um, as you can see, I got it for $2.92. I got to wipe the grease marker off. Um, and I just loved that. Awesome. That's going to go up on the eBay shop. Um, Lego items sell really well, especially if they are vintage. Um, now, a lot of these I bought weeks ago, like a couple weeks ago. So I might not remember the price, but just know I got it at a good deal. Um, hi, Megan. Thank you for joining. Here is a tote. From the company, I can't see it, Iris. Ooh, and it has some fingerprinting, but it was $2. Love that, and I believe orange was half off or something. So this could sell for about $20 to $30. So it's my goal to just show people that other people's trash that they give away to the thrift store, you can make money off of it. Um, I bought these fabric remnants for about a dollar each at Kyle Library Thrift, one of my brother's favorite thrift stores. Hey, Shelly. Welcome back to school, y'all. I am putting thrifting on hold now that we are back to work. But I have so much stuff from the summer that I have plenty to show y'all. Um, so, yeah, these things people love to craft with. Um, these are on various sizes. But, you know... Um, these ones you can make ornaments with. You can make um, clothes and other things. I thought they're really cute, and for a dollar each, I had to get them. Now, I don't know if we'll sell them individually or put them together. It all depends. Um, but this is around the time where you start really listing your Christmas and Halloween items. Cheryl Ann Johnson, 1991. You, you are so cute, Cheryl. Look at all the good you do in the world. Um, I got another one. I'll go through these quickly. Anyways, this one it looks like you make a gingerbread. Now, Matthew has a sewing machine. I have never used a sewing machine in my life. 
So I guess he could make these if he wanted to, but he probably wouldn't want to. Anyways, um, yeah, let's go through these quickly. I think that's the same. This is one of the ones that I really liked. Um, yeah, just a whole bunch of ornaments all on one panel. Now, they do still sell things like this at Hobby Lobby and craft stores. and um, But these ones, I believe, are vintage, especially because it said 1991. So, yeah, I just shot a video that'll be up maybe in a week or two where I got some other ones at an estate sale this weekend. Um, yeah, I'm not going to thrift stores lately, but I love to hit up like a estate sale. But, yeah. So really cool fabric for a dollar each. And they really run the gamut on price um, between like from $6 to $15. That's why I think bundling them will be the best. Look at this cute chihuahua. I love this canvas print. It kind of goes with our theme because, of course, we're all about the dogs. That's why it's called Pete's Treasures. Hi, Andrew. This was $4 at Goodwill, I believe, in Kyle, Texas. Really, really cute. 2016. It's not vintage, but, man, I just loved it. I can't tell if I'm going to sell it or keep it. Now, I do post these Facebook Live hauls on YouTube channel, Pete's Treasures. I would love if you could check out our other videos. Run them in the background while you have you a little Sunday mimosa. Now, I loved this metal sign. Hamburgers, you'll like. Where's the cheese? We need cheese on there. Um, anyways, this was $7 at a consignment shop in Wimberley, Texas. Um, also, we I did a travel vlog for the first time on YouTube um, where I, I spent eight hours editing, y'all. That seems crazy, but it's because things got messed up with the audio, but I learned how to do voiceover, so check that video out. Um, so yeah, $7, that's probably for me. Isn't it just a small world? I love this song. I love Disney things. This was only a dollar. It's one of those little records. How many of y'all had one of these, the little book and records? Really cute and in good condition. Um, I'm probably going to keep this. Just gel it. Easy ways to be a spectacular cook. Look at her. A Modern Guide to Gelatine Cookery. This is from Knox Gelatin. Um, man, this is like right up my alley. I love it. It was $3. Um, I probably want to keep this one too. How to be a happy dieter. Okay, if you need a diet, listen up. So I need to listen up. For a protein pickup that helps your dieting willpower, make the Knox drink with juice, bouillon, skim milk, or water. And drink about one half hour before meals. You'll eat the foods you like along with the family, but Knox taking the edge off your hunger. You'll eat less and like it. Oh, that's cool, Shelly. Um, <laughs> I have a red record player. Look at this. It's new, though. It's a Victrola. You can buy it on Amazon for like $49. I thought that was a pretty good deal. This is what I'm currently not listening to, but it's cute. A taste of tequila with a mariachi brass. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have a red one too. That's my favorite color. But y'all, if I made this drink, I don't think I'd be hungry. I wouldn't even drink it. Just make the drink, be disgusted, and not eat for the rest of the day. You know, they have lots of tips. So I love these old cookbooks. I mean, look at this. They called everything a salad. Everything a salad. Oh, well, that, oh, guacamole salad. Anyways, cola fruit salad. Golives, golives. Gelatin plus olives equal golives. That, mm-mm, mm-mm. Would y'all eat that? Mm-mm. All right, sorry, I'm getting, I get distracted because I love things like this. The surprise in the storybook, I don't think I'll sell this. I guess I'm showing y'all all the things that I like. Andrew gave this to me. We kind of uh, have these collections of old cookbooks, snacks and refreshments. Let's find a really cute one. First of all, look at all of these handmade recipe cards. And this one even has music. I just love finding old recipes. There's something so nostalgic and cool about it. <laughs> yes, I would not eat that. Man, 
I probably shouldn't waste time, but look at that. Anyways, let's get to some things that I plan on selling on eBay to make a profit. This is a sunset counted cross stitch. Like I said, crafting is very popular right now. Snowy Cougars. This was $4, but half off, so $2. It has never been used, so that's even better, although the front, I mean the top, is worn. Y'all, this can go for about $40. So if you're in the thrift store, pick up the sunset kits. It just depends on the content and what people are willing to buy it for. Okay, so that would be great. So we'll probably start it at 40 and go from there. Um, so I've been doing CDs lately because, first of all, there are less space to store, and I've been learning from Jason T. Smith at the Thrifting Board. Uh, these are, I'm just going to go quick. These are CDs that I scanned with my eBay app, um, and if it rang up as sold or listed for over $10, I bought them because they were a between $1 and $2 each. Paul Thorne, Wigstock, <laughs> it's funny, this is probably for me, Andrew uh, has this album already, it's about a drag queen festival similar to Woodstock, but it's Wigstock, look at that, um, Displace, look at that artwork, Eureka, kind of looks like those little golive cubes without the olives, I don't know what I'm saying, Chuck Berry, this has a DVD with it. And yeah, it sells well. Still breathing. We got to remember to breathe, y'all. School is starting up. Sing and play rock and music, or rock music, sealed. Now, these uh, Vacation Bible School CDs sell pretty well. We sold something like it. I bet you this could go for $15. So if you are looking in thrift stores, find them. Now, this is for me. It is Anthony and the Johnsons. I learned about him because he sang with Bjork. So that CD's for me. Let's take a look at the cassettes that I got to sell. Now, I might keep this because it actually doesn't go for much. Unfortunately, how many of y'all remember the California Raisins? 1987. They're singing, I heard it through the grapevine, lean on me, stand by me, you can't hurry, love, and heartbreak hotel. I love that. I got this all-in-one grab bag for like $4.00. Jesus Christ, superstar. Leave the thrifting to me and not the singing. Spring rain. Chipmunks. How many of y'all used to watch the chipmunks? Billy Ray Cyrus. Oh my gosh. Okay, this has uh, achy, breaky heart. And when I was little, I liked that song. I remember singing that at Chuck E. Cheese. And for some reason, I had a cassette of achy, breaky heart and I spilt milk all over it. Um, my mom actually bought a cassette player recently, Shelly, for $22 on Amazon to play some cassettes. And, um, there's, a, she actually has a Victrola that plays cassettes, but, um, you know, people still listen to cassettes and people still buy them on eBay and sell them on eBay. So that's interesting. I know. I haven't listened to cassettes since I had a 1995 Ford Ranger. That was my dad's. Um, what does that say? Brillantes, Vicky Carr. So anyways, those are the cassettes I got. I was really just drawn by the California Raisins. Ooh, yes. And I know chipmunks are still popular. People still play, um, what do you call it? The Christmas one. Tammy Wynette. Who likes Tammy Wynette? Um, I actually do. Now, this is a something that I would keep, but I don't need it. Isn't that, isn't that the story of my life? Trinity Pottery. Always pick up Trinity Pottery just because it looks nice. But um, it sells well. This will probably sell for $15, and I got it for 2 House rules. No fussing, no whining, no back-talking, you hear me? So, in case you need a little display of your rules. Now, my mom got me these. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Boston Warehouse. But I like... I like flamingos and kitschy things, and it's kind of tiki adjacent. <laughs> Here you go. Just remind those kids. You know, I think before my, um, my Zoom meetings, I'll put this and say, okay, kids, here are the rules. No, I don't need to do that. Okay, this I love because my grandma 
collected Hershey Kiss things. This is a um, woven throw vintage Kisses blanket. <laughs> um, it has Santa. The thing is, is I can't really unfold it, but it's cute. And it was like $2. And I might want to keep it, but I have a 1,000 blankets. And it's Texas, so how cold do we really get? I don't really need 600 blankets, but there you go. Um, next is some plush. Now, this pillow is really nice. It's only a little worn. It was $4 at Texas Thrift off the highway in Austin, Texas. $4, and it can sell for upwards of $30. So um, we will clean that up and list it. Very soft, very nice. This is from the newer Lion Kings, I believe. I don't know his name, but it is Disney brand. And Disney licensed plush from the Disney store especially sell really well. Now, I forget the prices on each individual, but I sold, ah, I bought them between $1 and $4. Now, this can probably go for about $18, so that's a great uh, return on investment, or ROI. Now, we sold one of these Rudolph plushes. I forget what the, I forget what her name is. What's her name? But this is a 50 years and still glowing the original television classic. Y'all, I watch it every year. I watch those classic movies while I wrap presents. I love it. Uh, she should sell for about 20 bucks. So I think I got it for $2 at Kyle Library Thrift. Yes, Shelly, I love Miss Piggy too. Did y'all know that they are doing, um, they have a new Muppets show with brand new episodes on Disney Plus? Who oh, Kermy? Ha 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 ha. I am not a good impressionist. So look, that is really, really cool. Um, there's the tag. A tag on a plush is very important so people can confirm the maker. So we always look for things that have tags. Plus, there's so many plushies out there or stuffed animals that it's kind of good for your identification purposes. So I think she can sell between 20 and 25 I'm kind of pulling that out of the air because it's hard to remember after everything we buy. Now, Build-A-Bear, this cat actually goes for a little bit more than the uh, Rainbow Leopard Bear. So um, she also has clothes that we can sell separately. This is like a cheerleading top. I tucked in. There's a little bow. So really cute. You know, children uh, have things happen with their stuffed animals and they want to buy a replacement. So that's why we pick up not every Build-A-Bear. Notice she has a tag, so that's great. So yeah, I don't know how much we'll sell her for, but it was worth picking up. Now this, I remember, was only $2. Love picking up Mickey and Minnie when we can find it. Although they can be popular, they have to have something special about them. And what is special is his clothes. It's kind of frozen looking or uh, Christmas, holiday, winter, what have you. But I think it should sell well. Now, he's kind of big, but still, you can put him in a poly bag and send him on his way. Oops, I dropped this little guy. And uh, I thought he was baby Tarzan, but Matthew told me that he is from the movie The Good... No, either The Good Dinosaur or The Last Dinosaur. But I remember he was at Kyle Library Thrift for like a dollar. So you can just tell Disney plushes, they're made really, really well. Like, there's just a nice, soft, good build quality to them. Um, same for Build-A-Bear. They all have this certain look to them. By the way, I finally have two matching panels. Amazon did what they needed to do and sent me two that matched. Um... It is, I was going to say odor blocking. It's not odor blocking. It is a, what do you call it? Blackout. Blackout curtains. So kind of fits our mid-century modern motif. All right, let me go over here. We are almost done. Y'all, I have five thrift haul videos to shoot. All right, this you'll see in our travel vlog on Pete's Treasures YouTube channel. This is Midnight Santa. And really, really large platters are sometimes called charger plates. Um, and it is by Becca Barton. And this, I was happy because I already had plates like this. Um, and I really like it, but I'm going to sell it. It's a bonus that it's in the box still. I believe it's from 2005. And this $2 plate, y'all, 
can sell between $30 and $50. So let's pray for the top of that margin. So anyways, this was just a short haul to show you what things I have been buying lately to sell on eBay. I really appreciate my friend's support um, by watching our videos. And if you don't, that's okay too. I am having a lot of fun making these. It started out as a um, project for quarantine. Um, I went 11 weeks without thrifting. I was pretty proud of myself. And then we started limiting where we went. Of course, socially distancing, face mask, sanitizer, and I don't even really get in aisles where there's other people. So, um, And then I'll go a few weeks without thrifting. So we are in the videoing stage, photographing stage, listing phase to get ready for Q4, which is the busiest time of the year for eBay sales. So thank you for watching. Keep digging for treasure. You can find this on YouTube as well as our website, Pete'sTreasures.com. And remember, it's not hoarding if you at least plan on selling some of it. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Have a great rest of the week.